Hello, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to cover on the next subtopic which is classifications of distance. Alright, so these are the learning outcomes. By the end of the lesson, students should be able to explain the difference between primary, secondary and tertiary production. Second one, they give reasons for the changing importance of a business classification in developed and developing countries. And last one, differentiate between public sector and private sector business and enterprises in mixed economy. Alright, so there are three stages involved in making a wooden table, which is primary sector, secondary sector, and tertiary sector. Primary sector is referring to a woodcutter. Secondary sector is referring to the furniture maker. And the last sector is referring to the retail. How about you think of another example and draw the stages as follows. Alright, so these are the explanation for each of the sector. Primary sector usually uses natural resources and produce raw materials such as farming, fishing, forestry, and etc. Secondary sector where they convert the raw materials into manufactured goods such as building and construction, car manufacture, and computer. The last sector is providing services to a customer and other businesses such as transport, banking, retail, insurance, and hotels. Next, relative importance of economic sectors. Which sector of industry is most important in your country? The three sectors of the economy are compared by okay, the percentage of the country's total number of workers employed in each sector or the value of output of goods and services. Alright, so some, some country, they change from one sector to another sector because of the primary products become depleted. Second one, because of the losing competitiveness. And the third reason is because the country's total wealth and the standard of living is increased. Alright, so next one is mixed economy. Mixed economy means that in the economy, there are private sectors and public sector. What does it mean by public sector? Public sector means the sector which is owned by a government. But private sector which is fully owned by an individual. Right. So what does it mean by privatization? Privatization is where the government is selling some public sector, for, for example, education, hospitalization, businesses to private sector. And why is this happening? It's because of the capital investment or capital issues. Right, so overall, I did cover on the stages of economic activity, importance of economic sectors, changes in sector importance, public and private sector, and last one, privatized session. Alright, so that's all. Thank you for today. Bye-bye.